Hey guys, and welcome to Eduardo Larda Plays. Today I'll be going over the very basics, basics of the mechanics and how to play in my first series of how to play tutorials of Aircraft Managers Tycoon. If you already know how to play, don't bother watching this video. If you don't know how to play, yeah, sure, let's check this video out. And be sure to check out my other videos in the playlist. I've made a lot of random experiments and random tips. I've been playing this game for about four years now, so I do have some old, old tip videos that may be outdated at the moment, but the newer ones are pretty updated and they should help you. And you can check out the playlist in the cards above. So today I'll be going over the very basics of route buying, scheduling, and maintenance of your planes. The basic building blocks of Airlines Manager Tycoon. Now when you start off, you will probably have a hub that you choose for free. Now, for example, I have my uh, Vancouver was my first hub, but let's say I want to build a new route. Um, let's say in Lagos in Nigeria. So Nigeria is doing well, um, but I want to buy a new route. So what do you do? You go to your network menu and click route creation. You find Lagos and I will, let's say, fly to Africa. And let's say I want to fly to Let's say, I don't know, let's say Egypt. Now, these are all the destinations available to go to Egypt. Now, remember when you are looking at routes, there are categories of your airport, which essentially means that, you know, the bigger the plane, the bigger category it needs, I guess, a longer runway uh, for takeoff and landing. So when you buy your planes, remember that if it's the biggest category 10 planes, you need a category 10 destination airport. To land your plane. Uh, now if you don't know what categories they are, there are uh, reference aircrafts below. So if you bought a, let's say, what's a popular mid-range, uh, let's say the A3, Airbus A320neo, if you click that it filters all the destinations that your A320neo aircraft can land in. And so you don't have to worry about it not being able to land. And then you can also filter your stuff here by distance, category, price, etc. So let's say I want to have the farthest one away, which is 4,000 kilometers away. And it's perfect because it's 12 hours. So I can do a perfect uh, 12 hour, 24 hour cycle per day. So I will buy El Arash. And as you can see, this shows you the subsidies, the gross prices. I, I used up all my subsidies, so I have to pay full price. You can also audit each destination and it basically tells you how much economy, business, first class cargo demand there is per day. And if you like it, and I like economy because you know you can fit more economy people in and you can charge essentially more, more money for each flight. So let's say I will go purchase this. All right, I have purchased a route. Now I need to buy an aircraft. So I will go to aircraft acquisition and it's a medium haul. So earlier we said we were going to buy the A320, so I'm going to do that right now. I guess I can even buy the A321 Neo, so let's do that. I'll just buy one. And remember on your right, if you have multiple hubs, you have to put it in the right hub. So I have to put it in Lagos, which is this one. So I will, because it's mainly an economy flight, I'm going to max out my economy. And let's say I will buy, yeah, I'll buy three, three planes. And three planes, which is good. Uh, let's, actually, let's buy four planes. And the more planes I buy, you can see the total price actually reduces. So I have a 2.7 uh, discount on this flight, on this plane. So there are liveries, 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 whatever. Um, so obviously they cost money and I don't have money, so I will just get the free one and I will purchase this. All right, so it will take five hours for my planes to be delivered. So let's pretend I've already bought my plane. So how do you schedule your flight in? Well, you go to your network management and you can go to your Lagos hub. You can go to route management. And then you can find the new one I just bought, which was, hold on. Try to find it, El Arash. 
Yeah, right here. Okay, so my audit was actually a little off. It says 2000 economy. There's actually 2100 economy, which is better. So I'll click El Arash and then I will click schedule flights at the bottom left. And now I, I have most of my planes are already used. So I'll let's say I'll use uh, this plane. And because obviously it's already been used, I will remove um, the scheduling. And now you can schedule your flights. Uh, you can do it by hand. You can do it on the computer with a mouse click. Or if you want nice, tiny, and very neat scheduling, you can click automatic schedule. And you can start your daily schedule at whatever time you want. I usually just leave it at 1 a.m., but obviously that's not very realistic. So let's say 8 a.m. And I click economy. And now it auto fills my schedule for the plane. Now, as you can see, the remaining, so the original, the original, sorry. Okay, let's remove that. So the original flight demand was two, as you can see on the top center, 2,164. So now you're wondering, okay, so after I put this in, my remaining demand became 1,700, huh? Why is that? Well, my A321, A321neo plane on the right hand side, you can see there's 236 um, passenger seats. The first number in the brackets is 230, which is my economy. Um, so why, so you're naturally asking, okay, why isn't it 2167 minus 230? Well, you have to remember the game does it by round trip, which is quite annoying. So you actually have to double your uh, seat numbers and quantities and subtract it from the demand of the day. So if you have 2167 uh, economy passengers per day, um, and your plane is actually flying 230 economy passengers one way, so you have to multiply, multiply it by two, which is 460. So it's actually, your number is 2167 2, minus 430, which gives you 1707. So that is your remaining demand. So remember, remember that, um, don't buy too many planes. Um, don't buy double the amount of planes because your passenger demand actually decreases by double. And essentially, once you do that, let's say I go back to automatic scheduling. And once you click finish, and that's it. And you'll see that your next flight will be taking off in seven hours in real time, uh, fake time. Uh, but real time, it equals to about one hour. Uh, if you're in tycoon mode, this means that this will, the real time is actually seven times uh, faster in the game. If it's professional, then it's uh, hour for minute for minute, hour for hour. Uh, so now, now in the beginning you will have not a you won't have a lot of money to be very honest. So what you need to do is just essentially wait till the plane takes off and then you can get the money from your flight. And there's really not much to do when you don't have any money. So in the beginning you'll probably be playing only this for a few minutes every time. Um, once you get to like like myself, I have almost half a trillion dollars. You can do a lot and you can play this for hours on end. Now there is one thing that I want to make sure you guys remember that is do your maintenance. So every plane will have a wear ratio and an age. So every time if the on the top left you see um, I just did my check A so most of my planes are quite uh, unweared right now, 0 to 10%. But as the higher percentage wear of your aircraft become, the more prone it is to incidents which actually cost you money. So as you can see a week before I actually had to spend 150 million dollars just to um, get rid of instance or pay up for the instance. Uh, so remember to do your check A's. If you do your check A's, then you will be able to reset your aircraft's wear to 0%. Now on the bottom left, you see the age. Now the age is essentially an age of the aircraft, one to five years old. Um, the age dictates how much wear it gathers in percentage. Um, per kilometer, per flight hours, um, you know, flown. And so the higher the age, the higher, the faster you accumulate those wear percentages. Um, so personally, I don't really, uh, oh, sorry. When you do a check D, it actually resets your aircraft age back down to one. So for me, I usually don't do a check D until my planes are majority at, let's say, age four. 
when it's in the red zone. So once it's in the red zone, I don't do check A's anymore, I just do a check D. And then once I finish the check D, it actually resets my wear and my age. So everything resets down to age one and 0% wear. So just remember to do that. Um, you can have, um, you can filter what kind of planes you want to kind of fix. Let's say I want to fix the ones that are 50%, uh, um, but none of my planes are at 50% wear, so I don't have to do any check A's or check D's. So thank you for watching. That's kind of it for the part one, how to play Airlines Manager Tycoon. Um, not a lot of tips, just really how to maneuver and move around the menus and just to show you guys, showcase the game itself. Um, yeah, so you can actually, if you're, if you're curious, you can actually click on your, um, your planes and it'll show you where they're going, where they're uh, coming from and when they took off and what time it is. So um, it's quite cool. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy Airlines Manager Tycoon. Uh, again, be sure to check out my other tip videos um, and happy flying. And thank you for watching at Bardo Lardo Plays.